Historic Port Adelaide was once known as a working class suburb. And although it has kept its ties to its maritime roots, it's in a real period of revival and we're finding Port Adelaide is a suburb that's surely on the move. The current median house price sits at $470,000 and they've enjoyed huge growth of 17% in the last three years. That statistic makes Port Adelaide one of the best performing suburbs in all of South Australia. I'm Michelle, I'm from Dutch Coffee Lab and we're in Port Adelaide. The Dutch side of things is what makes us unique. So the Tom's Worst is quite traditionally Dutch with the Vroekwurst sausage and the sauerkraut, the jalapenos. It's very traditionally Dutch. The apple tart is Tom's Omar's recipe and that brings all the people in to just have a taste of home if they're from Holland. So we use De Groot coffee beans and they're locally sourced from Port Elliot. Tom also roasts his own coffee, Dutch Coffee Lab Roasting, and it's one of the best coffees in Port Adelaide. We just feel like it's very community orientated. We know all our neighbours, we know all our customers, they're very local and they come in every day and I think that's what makes Port Adelaide special. I'm Ed Smiles, I'm the Customer Experience Manager at Pirate Life Brewing. Uh, we've been uh, brewing beer now for effectively four and a half years. First thing you do is you walk through those front doors, you look up and go, that's a big room. It's a 17 metre high shed that we managed to secure. 24 tap bar that's 20.9 metres wide or 22 yards. So we actually have a bar that's as wide as a cricket pitch is long. Then once you're actually in the space itself, you can come and do a tour. So we go right through the brew process, packing process, history of beer, history of the brand and history of the building. It does finish off with a skewy on the bar as well. You know, when you're done with us, there's this really interesting town that surrounds us that you can check out and grab the Wonderwalls map and uh, see some of the street art that's around the town. And uh, then when you're done with that, roll back here for a beer or uh, roll back to the Admiral and have a couple more beers. So it's a pretty good time to be here. And the best part is that uh, throughout that whole process of being small to being large, being indie to being corporate, it's still fun to work here. We still make great beer and we still have great customers. So it's been a pretty interesting ride all in all. So can't wait to see what next year brings.